Here's a really quick texture to type in Photoshop. This will also work for uh, big, bold images and the like. Uh, you can kind of see how it applies best to what you're doing. Um, just as a point of reference, this type in swoosh, as well as the actual texture we're using, I sell as resource packs as a shameless plug, so I will add links to those in the description. But in any case, the first thing you do once you have your image uh, ready to go, and make sure it has a transparent background. Um, you don't want it flattened. It makes selecting things a bit more, uh, a bit more of a pain. So you grab your texture, which in this case, once again, this has a transparent background. Um, if you're not sure how to create textures with a transparent background, I'll link another video I made about using the channels menu to pull textures. That'll be really helpful if you're not familiar with that. But in this case, I'll assume you know that. So what we're going to do is, is drag and drop this texture over the actual type. And don't need to save that. And you just kind of move it around uh, as you see fit. You know, you might need to scale it depending on what texture you're using and what you're trying to achieve with a look. But in this case, I think it's pretty close to being good. Um, I'll just hide that for now. And before we actually get started, duplicate your text layer or your image layer, whichever the case may be. And in this case, we're going to select it. And you can do that really quickly by uh, hitting Control and then clicking, or on a Mac, hitting Command and clicking. And then go to Select, uh, Modify, Contract. Um, I've already done this on this particular image before, so I know 25 pixels is the right amount that I'm looking for. But depending on the image size and scale, uh, you know, play around with it to get the look you're uh, trying to achieve. And as you can see, by doing that, it adds a little border. And this is really going to help if you ever have a really aggressive texture or you're a bit worried about uh, the type losing its shape. It'll just make things look a bit more solid, a bit more complete. So you're going to want to hit this right down here. It looks like a rectangle with a circle in the middle, which is just a layer mask. Um, and as you can see, it selected the center parts, and we actually want the border. So with the mask highlighted, which is this one on the right here, hit Control-I on a PC or Command-I on a Mac, and that'll invert it. Um, and that'll just give us a nice little border for our text. Um, if you're really a stickler for details, I would go in and manually like erase out these jaggy edges right here, just clean them up a bit. But a lot of times when you're dealing with like texture in the center, you won't even notice. So you can kind of see if it needs to be done in the end or not. And then down here, we have the solid layer. And we're just going to control click on our texture or command click on a Mac uh, to select it. And then once again, hit the layer mask button down here, which is a rectangle with a circle in the middle. And that'll quickly apply it. And then you can see really quickly, you know, we have textured type with a nice outline. If we were to remove that outline, you can kind of see it it's a very different effect, and if you're trying to get really readable text, uh, the border is usually helpful. But I actually want the inverse of this particular uh, texture here. So I'm just going to hit Control-I on the mask layer selected here to flip it over. And that'd be command on a Mac. And as you can see, it's super fast, super easy, and you get really nice legible text with a bit more character. And, uh, you know, play around with it. Use different textures to get the, uh, the overall look you're looking for. In this case, I'll just quickly uh, drag another texture over here. So you can kind of see how quickly you can just, you know, go here, delete this layer mask, select this one, apply it, and then, you know, invert it if that's the look you're looking for. And you already have a brand new texture on there. So it takes just a few seconds, and you end up with a pretty cool looking piece of type. So thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit the like button. And check out the description for links to everything you'll need. Thanks.